Hello everyone, my name is Eric Rolls, coach of the AASI snowboard team. And on this run, we're going to see some high level snowboarding starting at the top, progressing to intermediate, and then more of our beginner style snowboarding. So we have Chris Rogers, Lindsey Stevens, and Chuck Hewitt descending. They are doing a retracted turn, which would be associated with our higher level riding, characterized by managing pressure across the width, the length, and the vertical movement. You would notice that the board is being retracted to the center of mass. We've since moved on to a more down unweighted turn where the center mass drops towards the board at edge change. Moving into a larger radius carve turn, you'll see that retraction of the legs pulling towards the center of mass. You'll notice the center mass staying fairly steady on its vertical plane. Working in towards our lower level carve turns, you'll notice the body stacked, pressure even along the length of the board, as well as over the working edge. You'll see a balance of angulation and inclination to maintain balance over the edge. Okay, um, now we see uh, Babla from Chingra Public again. She's performing again for us um, up unweighted curling turn, dynamic turning in high speeds using in racing disciplines. Especially snowboard cross. And at the bottom, she switched to basic carving turn. And with long radius, position low static and centered stance, ranging managing with well time inclination. This turn we use in level 2, and the turn before the more dynamic we've used in level 3 courses. Thanks for watching. Good morning, Levy. We are the Spanish team, and we have three of our demo team on the slope. We will start on the bottom of the slope with Paula, that is our head coach of our snowboard. Come on, Paula. We are ready. Okay, we will show the progression of the technical snowboard in Spain. The Paula will demonstrate the first change of edges, first transition from back to front and from front to back. In these turns, the upper body remains steady. Turn initiation is mainly done moving our weight to the front of the board and using the torsion of the board. So we are doing it from the feet up keeping our body stable. Nice demonstration, Paula.
Okay, now in the middle of the slope, we have Joking. Come on, Joking. He will demonstrate the basic turn. In this turn, we execute the same technique we have seen before with Paula, but we add the body rotation to get an easier uh, uh, way of starting the turn. So the turn initiation is, is started with body rotation added to the feet movement and the torsion of the boat. That help us to uh, develop this technique on the steeper slopes. Well done, Joaquin. And now, up there we have Danny. Danny will show us the third step on our uh, progression. He will be performing elementary turns. That's it. In this kind of turns, he will be adding the station of the body in the transition from one turn to the other uh, to make it easier to face downwards and to make it easier to turn the turn. In this way, we upweight the board and we make it much easier to start the turn on the steeper slopes. The, these are skidded turns. Slow movements, easy transitions, facing downwards. Good morning, everybody from Basie, the British Association of Snow Sport Instructors. My name's Jazz. I'm going to be commentating on the snowboard technical demos. On the slope, just coming down, we've got uh, Renell Modermer and Kev Edwards who are going to be merging both runs together because we're a little bit short of time. So, the Basie snowboarding technical system is built around the progressive building of the fundamental elements uh, via the central theme. Through, the frame, through this framework, the fundamentals are introduced step by step to ensure students build, build strong foundations for versatile riding across a whole mountain. So just coming into position now, uh, we've got demonstration. The starting point of the progression is stacked, alert, relaxed, but responsive body position that is biomechanically aligned with the board and the rider stands. This position promotes strong balance and freedom to move accurately in all planes. From this position, the rider can develop the steering elements of edge, pressure, and rotation. Edge is worked on via side slipping on both toe and heel edge. Direction is achieved by adding pressure control via the diagonal side slip, then rotation via the falling leaf. Once a rider has a high level of competence of all these inputs, they're ready to turn. Turning starts with a basic turn where the rider makes a committed lateral movement to change edge in the fall line and controls speed with a side slip. Then onto the standard turn, where the edge change is achieved before the fall line. This is where the rider develops curved turn shape and increases flow. It is the appropriate blend of these elements that allows the riders to be adaptable, adaptable and versatile in all terrain. Once a rider can perform a standard turn with flow and ease, they can move into the other strands of snowboarding, such as carving. Coming into the bottom now, we've got Kev Edwards, who leads up our snowboard discipline. And at the top now, we've got Ronell Mortimer, who's gonna go through the level three standards. So Ronell at the top. Examples of the fundamental elements are applied, that can be applied through a variety of turns. Starting with short turns, they are performed in a four to six meter corridor, gripped with con consistent steering throughout the arc. Rate and range are important here, applying counter pedaling at the top of the turn. Key is to make the edge change across the fall line. The ability to change edge accurately and quickly, very earliest point allows for progressive steering. This is done via uh, combining progressive edging 
and pressure, moving from nose to tail throughout the turn. Okay, Rennell's moving into slightly uh, performance carving. The, the platform from the carve is produced by using ankles in unison, unison and changing accurately using angulation, the flexion of the lower joints. This is the build phase. Once the platform is set, the rider can start to work the board. This is achieved by progressive inclination into the turn, increasing the edge angle. Good run, Rennell. Awesome job. Thanks very much, everybody. Okay, we are Argentina again. We will show the performance turns. We have the short turns now. These uh, turns uh, appear in the, our second certification. We teach to the candidates these turns are uh, short uh, radius and more shape than the other ones. And then we start to do the big radius, large radius uh, performance. We flex, you use it, we use the flexion of the, at the end of the turn just to absorb all the pressures appear at the, at the three quarter of the turn. And then we change the edge and we start to pressure again and the new edge to, to start to uh, take profit of the snowboard shapes. Here the freestyle, shifty, 180 and 360. Here, the link of the turns are really important, linking turns, to take profit, the external forces, as we said, to manage all the effort of the snowboarder. Thank you very much. We finish our uh, turn and the demo, technical demo. Okay, welcome back everybody for round two from the Canadian Association of Snowboard Instructors. Our demonstrators on the second run are Adam, Jen, Dom, and James. In this run, we're demonstrating our advanced and expert outcomes, again, manipulating the skills of position, edge pressure, pivot, and timing to achieve four main advanced outcomes. The first is strength and flow, standing in a position to withstand greater forces and moving with fluidity. Next is allowing the snowboard to travel on the side cut to create arcs and connecting those arcs together. The third outcome is loading and deflection, using the elastic properties of the snowboard to generate energy and use that energy to accelerate laterally across the slope. And finally, steering versatility, or manipulating the steering movements to change or vary the turn shape, turn type, and speed. Thanks everybody, have a great day. Rich here from SBINZ representing New Zealand. We're now gonna drop in and show a range of our level three tasks. A little bit more spicy this time with Richie Johnson at the front and Guy McCulley at the back. They're gonna start off with a sequence of small closed turns where the edge change is performed with flexion. So a deliberate movement of the center of mass down towards the snowboard to release the edge which is a contrast from what we showed earlier. This is something we introduce at level three, so that our instructors can show the required blend of movements for a student to be successful in some of our more inconsistent, uncomfortable terrain. Here the boys are moving into a more high performance carve turn where they'll stand in a more open stance with hip and shoulder rotated towards the nose of the board to help them manage pressure with more vertical range over the snowboard. We'd look to assess this on a steep blue or black pitch. Now we're going into some of our versatility tasks with a heel to heel and then some toe to toe turns. This shows that our instructors
can demonstrate a blend of movements and be versatile in their riding. We're looking for two foot pop off each edge into a clean carve. Here we go into the jump. Gonna show a throw 60 both front side and back side. Oh, bolts. Lovely boys. And then finishing off with some nice short retraction turns with a deliberate flexion of both knee, hip, and ankle to bring the board underneath and finishes off. Thanks, guys. We're gonna run into our clinic now, the Feedbox Toolbox with SBINZ. Meeting over by the SBINZ flag. If you don't get it today, another chance tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Here you see the Dutch snowboarders with their version of the short and long turns. In the short turns we use the turning principle, block turn. Your body hardly rotates in relation to the snowboard. This gives you the best balance in the entire turn. The turns are contiguous, which means that the steering pressure of one turn is used for the start of the other turn. We achieve this by progressively edging the board throughout the turn. In addition, we have a round turn in phase, where the turn in phase is in the same direction as the sliding direction of the previous turn. This way we distribute the pressure as much as possible over the entire turn. As we turn in we make an up, forward and inward movement, making it easier for the board to turn in and switch sides. We also use the block turning principle for the long turns you are looking at right now. To support your turns, you can rotate a little bit with the upper body. In the lateral movement, we lean into the turn and bring the lower body to the center of the turn, while angulating the upper body. When we change sides we make a small upward movement, this allows us to move low again after the side change and to exert dosed pressure on the snowboard so that we can influence the radius. Thanks for watching the Dutch snowboarders. All right, chill again here. For this run, we're gonna demonstrate our more advanced high performance boarding. Just like we ended the last run, we know that this rider is automatizing more advanced and refined movements. So the skills in the advanced turn will focus and aim to maintain a natural stance throughout the turns with movement control on that upper and lower body separation. Coordination and flow will be very important as it will stay as important theme for this effective, clean style. We can see our demonstrators, Eduardo Batarsi and Sebastian Goni with a long, high performance, advanced turn. Starting going to the medium range turn. This clean style, nice and spicy. Our style aims to the adaptation on the terrain and the range of movements to be using our board on all the different conditions. Our range of mountains on the Andes allows us to have big mountain riding, very good parts and best snow conditions for our riders. Thank you very much. All right, welcome back to run two. First run was a blending of our six fundamentals through various levels. This run will be highlighting specific fundamentals, doing some activities, starting with some pivot flips, which focuses on the vertical movement and separation of the upper and lower body. 
We take blended movements and break them into parts to train our students so they can put them back together in larger, bigger, more technical outcomes. You'll see they were doing some toe-to-toes, which is often used to introduce upper lower body separation in level two. Progressing to some air time. Transferring from edge to edge. Combining the timing, intensity, duration with rotation. Approaching the jump. We'll see a variety of jumps. Straight air for level one, 180 for intermediate students, and 360 for advanced students. And at the bottom, the team is performing what we refer to as dolphin turns, which have a full blend of the fundamentals. Managing pressure across the length, width, vertical, pivot, twist, and tilt. Thank you from the USA. Okay, we are the Team Spain again. We have up there, at the start of the slope, we have Jordi Fon that will perform some advanced carving turns. Come on, Jordi. Okay, there he goes. He will start performing some advanced carving turns using the up weighting technique, full carving. You see, that's the best demonstration we have for the top level boarding. Jordi has been two time Olympian, fourth in Torino 2006. Now he will change to down weighting technique. Still on full carve turns, advanced speed, high level of edging, but using the flexion to change from one turn to the other. Now change of rhythm, and that's it. Whoa! Nice done, Jordi. Big share up for him.